What's up, y'all? How you guys doing? Nick, we're really bored here. Really? We were gonna fly this kite, but there's no wind. No. We were gonna play basketball, but we don't have a ball. Wow. Bored, no wind, no basketball. You know what? This doesn't make any sense. I'm taking over recreation. He's taking over. We interrupt this program for a special breaking news report. Good evening. I'm Sarah Summers with a special breaking news bulletin. Latanya Jenkins is missing. I repeat, Latanya Jenkins is missing. No word or any leads on the pushy diva's whereabouts, but sources tell us girlfriend's been missing all season. We here at Nick Evening News promise to keep you posted on any late breaking news or information that we receive here in the newsroom. We take you now to the special report. Latanya's missing? Latanya's missing. Latanya's missing? I didn't have nothing to do with it. I don't know where Latanya is. You don't look at me. I'm gonna tell you something about Latanya. Right? She doesn't take no for an answer. She was never afraid to go out there and just get what she needed to get. She had to be in charge. She got angry and uh, she actually attacked me. Suddenly, Latanya comes just flying in, seeking out the spotlight, I guess. She couldn't stand it. Latanya. Woo. I hate to admit this, and you know, guess now would be the right time and the perfect place, but Latanya and I are actually blood cousins. Latanya Jenkins was born in Detroit, Michigan in October of 1980, and it was clear from the beginning that she stood out from the rest. Family friend and mentor, Oswald Watkins. Yeah, I used to babysit Latanya, you know what I mean? She's a feisty little thing, you know. She's a cool person. She was just raised in an environment to where she doesn't really have to hold her tongue. Well, I remember even in the first grade, she was always trying to prance around like she was better than all the other girls and stuff. And always trying to take somebody man. And I had a boyfriend again in the first grade that she took from me and I didn't appreciate it. And she ain't never apologized for taking somebody man. Malicious behavior aside, one thing was for certain. There was something about Latanya that stood out. What was it about Latanya that didn't stand out? That child was a terror. Her name should have been Latera, not Latanya. Everything had to revolve around Latanya. I could not get her to really be able to play with the other children. I don't know you did. You just took my hair. You got me to whip your head off. She was the queen bee. She had to be in charge. She was a very gifted child, though. As a child, LaTanya showed promise as a dancer. Once in high school, she decided to put her talent to the test by auditioning for the cheerleading squad. She came to our school for our cheerleading tryouts, and she tried out, and we kind of all didn't like her very much. Hey, 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 my name LaTanya. Hey, and I look good. Hey, get with me. Hey, you wish you could. Hey, hey. She's kind of into boys in her nails. What a broken nail! Hold up, hold up. Emergency. And she wore high heels. Y'all, ooh! It's strong men that be footballing over here! And then we started to like her because she showed us all these neat cheers and they're really actually really awesome. They're all brand new. We've never heard of them before. You G L Y, you ain't got no alibi. You ugly. Hey, hey, you ugly. Ooh. So we gave her a uniform, and then the next day we had a game with her, and we had all practiced and stuff. And then she broke her ankle there, and ever since, we've just never seen her. She's never come back. Latanya viewed her broken ankle as a sign of failure. For a fledgling diva, failure was not an option. And so the disappearing act quickly became one of her favorite tricks. After graduating high school at the middle of her class, Latanya decided to forego college and took up a job with her childhood friend at the local inconvenience store. Are you working? Oh, Oh, I'm sorry I am late, girl, but they was having a bomb sale now that we got closed for less. Oh, let me you keep me thinking of like, because I was just down here myself. Oh, God! Check out these earrings I just bought. I remember this one time when uh, this fine boy had walked into the inconvenience store, right? But here comes Latanya. 
all up in his grill talking about, hey, ain't you cute? And don't you want to be with the tall, skinny girl? Oh, well, I look cute in that wedding dress right there. No, I, I don't think so. You're funny. You should be a comedian. I don't know who she thinks she was, but she... Oh, that, uh, y'all don't just be calling me out like that and uh, turning on lights. I, I, I wasn't ready. I didn't shave and I broke a nail. And I, I love Latanya. I, she, I love Latanya because she is a beautiful person and she is a good hun, 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 humanitarian. No? Humanitarian. But the inconvenience store was no place for Latanya. It was hard work and largely unfulfilling. But in the spring, Latanya met and fell in love with a young entrepreneur named Ricardo. She immediately quit her job and took a position as a receptionist at Dudco Enterprises. Dear Mr. Snodgrass, it behooves me to write to you regarding the calamitous pilfering of your award-winning giant pumpkin. <laughs> Dear... Mr. Uh, what's his name again? You know what? I can do this myself. Is that part of the memo? No. <laughs> Despite the rocky start, Latanya was able to maintain her job there. Eager to impress Ricardo, she told him she was the boss. And indeed it did impress him. It was a fairy tale romance. Until one day Ricardo decided to pay Latanya a visit at work. I uh, just had to see my lovely executive at the place where she is the boss. Oh, oh well, 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 that, that's here. And, and I'm the boss. Where I was going. Tucky, you don't back talk me. I am the boss. You? <laughs> That's what I really miss about Latanya. She was never afraid to go out there and just get what she needed to get. But her plan backfired. When Miss Williams caught wind of Latanya's scheme, she fired the assertive diva and ran off with Ricardo. <laughs> Latanya was devastated. Deep in her depression, she remembered an early dream of becoming a world-famous supermodel. She was a nice, little, young, little, tall, lanky thing. Had a mustache thick as mine, but... She just, something was cute about it, you know what I'm saying? She worked with her in a, in a restaurant one time. I was performing. She was a waitress, struggling model, you know. She trying to be a model. I told her to shave up her lip. She'd probably get more work. True to form, the restless diva decided to take matters into her own hands. If no one would give her an opportunity, she would create one for herself. Fashion model Tracy Arbuckle. I was uh, doing a photo shoot and suddenly Latanya comes just flying in, seeking out the spotlight, I guess. You know, throws herself in front of the photographer and she was throwing around some attitude. Models ain't supposed to have last name. Iman, Tyra, Latanya, you see what I'm talking about? Well, I resented the intrusion. She was kind of a diva, but um, as, well, as much as I hate to admit it, she has something unique. You know, definitely something I haven't seen before, and she has great legs. But she's definitely got to work on that attitude. That's it. That was it. What? That is the pose. Go back. Leg up. That's wonderful. We were a little, we were a little cranky because the photographer ended up liking her more than he liked us. I can't say I want to work with her again. The gamble paid off. And soon, with her face on the cover of every major magazine, Latanya Jenkins would become a household name. How you like me now, Kumo D? You inspired me. You made me feel good. When we return, the rise and fall of Latanya Jenkins. Latanya did her thing. I wasn't too pleased. Okay. Uh-uh. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. Latanya Jenkins' newfound success as a fashion model opened the door for a myriad of opportunities. You know, when I tried to give her a job as a reporter on my show, I was thinking maybe she could handle this, put a little money in her pocket, you know, make our family proud. Latanya Jenkins was the talk of the town. Hollywood embraced her with open arms. She began a career of unparalleled success. 
with the help of Cousin Nick. She was caught up in a whirlwind that carried her straight to the top. But I want to give you a hug because you look good. Oh, thank you. I could be the next angel. You could be the next angel. Let me tell you something about that girl. She was a star. She was a star. She was a star. Her success had skyrocketed her to a point far beyond her wildest dreams. You were never in the same place at the same time. I was sending her out to do some, you know, on the field reporting and stuff, and she would go do her thing. She was untouchable, a role model for women all over the world. And she won the admiration of some of the most influential women in Hollywood. You inspired me. You made me feel good. Oh, I'm like I could be good. myself and want to be the best version of myself. Oh, you do, you do that, girl. Do that. You be you, Drew. You know, I try to keep up with all my students, and so yes, I kept up with Latanya, and I'm very proud of her. I thought some of the things she did was a little unusual, but I think she's very gifted, very talented, and I must say, I have enjoyed watching her. But not everyone thought she was all that. Friend and co-star Tech Money. When I first met Latanya, you know, I didn't really care for her because she was a little too aggressive. But she somehow got my number to my house two-way sale and my manager's number. And so she invited me on a date, you know, went to Universal Studios, rode a few rides. Her wig fell off. That was cute. <laughs> then we went to the diner afterwards, and she pretty much ate my food, her food, and the people next to us food, you know. But we had a great time. <gasps> you used to go to our school? Hot day. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Miss Two Little Rule Girls interrupting my little interview here with Tech. Who do you think you are? What do you think you are? I am an entertainment reporter. Ain't I Tech? Uh, yeah. That's what you said. Latanya and I never went out again after the diner experience because uh, I changed my numbers to my two-way, my cell, my house, and my manager's number. And uh, I don't know if she had time to get those numbers uh, before she disappeared, but she never called me. Critics and naysayers weren't enough to stop the international juggernaut as she continued to bask in the light of her own shimmering reflection. It's all about me. I told y'all. It's all about me. Latanya's notorious attitude was getting out of hand, and it was about to get the best of her. Music superstar, Usher. Well, first of all, I only met her once. You know, and ever, ever since then, I had heard that I was trying to holler at her. And, I mean, it actually didn't even go down like that. You got a girlfriend. <laughs> Where you going with her? Well, you, like, you ain't got to, Okay, I bet and you she got, don't look like me. She, well, she don't well, look as good as me, do she? Okay, okay, then. You Love just speak so softly. I just, I just have to... Where you going with her? You could just sing some for us, please. Just sing something. Hey, lady. Hey, fellas. You know you're doing good because they chat. Pop, pop. She doesn't take no for an answer. I'm gonna tell you something about Latanya. She's very, very independent. You know, she, she always talked about her independence. You know, and she be doing that little, thing. you know, how that, you know, you know Latanya. You know what I'm saying? Could you show me a couple of dance, the video dance moves? Yeah, put your hands up. Put your hands up. Bend your knees, bounce around in a circle. Step, step to the right, step to the left. Turn, turn. Come on, track. Turn. One. So, you know, next thing I hear, I'm blowing her two-way up. I'm caught on this cell phone. I mean, I'm, like, obsessed. I'm showing up at places. I'm like, that is not, that, that ain't me. I sure not. Nah, come on, man. I mean, but even though she's cool, I mean, but she has a vivid imagination, apparently. You know what? I'll be right back. I'm, uh... very special person so you know I, 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 my heart goes out to her and I hope that you that you guys will hear from her that she turns out but little did anyone know things were about to take yet another turn for the worse Hollywood was growing tired of Latanya's behavior and it was starting to show no one would return her phone calls I thought I was gonna be able to get in the party, but they don't wanna get me in the party. I guess, I guess, you know, you got, you, you can't be this fine and be in the party. I would have to like go home and like, you know, put my hair down and all that other stuff because I'm too fine for this party. You know what I'm saying? Because Even cousin Nick had concerns. She's a Jenkins. And I'm a Cannon. It's a little different. You know what I mean? Cannons handle things a little differently than the Jenkins do. Extravagant spending at hair and nail salons left her broke. Desperate for work, she took a temporary job at Nick Cannon's chic new restaurant in Hollywood. Welcome to Nick's restaurant, or whatever, come on, come sit over here. Latanya hated the work, 
co-worker, Francis Spunkle. Tanya, she was a great girl, but she had a little attitude. I gotta be serious, you know, I gotta be serious, you know. As for curly fries, this doesn't look curly at all. That, that ain't curly. No, here, here, not. let me curl it up for you then. Here, I'm gonna curl this up for you. Here, is that curly enough for you now? She was waiting tables and she kept getting my order wrong. Did you guys just take this back? I ain't taking nothing back. You ordered it. Here, here you eat that. That's what you eat. At first I thought it was a joke and tried to laugh it off, but she kept getting it wrong and kept spilling the food. And when I tried to complain, she got angry and uh, she actually attacked. Okay, I will take this shoe and put it where the sun do not shine, okay? I was thankful to get a job at the restaurant. She gonna walk out the restaurant so much she never working here again. I quit. I can't handle this. I need to be on a runway somewhere, on somebody's television somewhere. Not up in here serving people food. Ugh, can you give me this? Can you give Why don't y'all get up and get it yourself? I ain't never seen so many needy people in my life. This don't make no sense. Latanya was back to square one yearning for the lights, cameras, and action she'd become accustomed to. In a last-ditch effort to regain her fame, she decided to barge in on a taping of the popular teen show, Ty Ina. We, we, we changing the name of the show. It's no longer Ty Ina. It's now LaTanya. Yeah, so we gonna do this. LaTanya was just really irritated, man. All that stuff she used to do, that okay and all that stuff. I don't know how ever she used to do it. And fingernails and always up in your face, the big hair, big shoes. Just couldn't stand it. Neither could the cast of Tyena, and things got out of hand. Cut! Cut! What's there going on over here? She tied me up! What did you do to my star? No, no, see, see what had happened was... I want you off my set. Wait, no, no wait, wait, hold on. I can't be off this. What are y'all doing? doing? Just grooving. No! 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 I'm gonna be back. Latanya! I'm gonna say this gonna be my show. You no! can't be my show. Yeah, Tanya! Yeah, that was the last time anyone saw Latanya. One thing I want to get straight to. I know there's a, you know, a resemblance between Latanya and I. I'm not Latanya. People say, oh, you look just like Latanya. Not really. If you look, the nose is a different. Latanya, honey, calm down. Come back. Don't, don't be hiding out for attention. I know you're doing this for some attention. Hey, Latanya, if you're watching out there right now, you know, you hold them down. Hold the ladies down. You know, you, know, you be holding them down. Latanya, we love you. We want you to come back. Please, please come back. Please. Come back. Come. You wouldn't be missing right now if you weren't just trying to be Miss Fast and running all out to L.A. to the West Coast when you know you're from Detroit and we need to be back over there to slanging uh, soda and crackers to the little children. Latanya, if you out there, hey, girl, we love you. You know, hopefully you show up Thanksgiving. If not... It was nice knowing you. I don't know where you are, but um, wherever you are, I'd really like you to stay there. Oh, when you gained some weight, because your legs were skinny and nasty. girl, where you at? I know you're coming back, because your car had a flat. Sarah Summers back again for Nick Evening News. Latanya Jenkins' whereabouts to this day still remain unknown. But for more information and more up-to-the-minute coverage, we encourage viewers to keep tuning in to The Nick Cannon Show, Saturday night. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. Woo! Man, I tell you, that's probably the best episode we ever had. I'm telling you, man, we fixed the ozone layer, cure war, hunger, all in one episode. Man, that was great. I want to thank the president for letting me use his plane. Ben Diesel for helping out. You know, when we was boxing. I tell you, this is a great episode. Ain't no party like a Nick Candy party, right? Yeah. All right, I'll let y'all next time. Little Latonya, we miss you, girl. Latonya. Malcolm in the Middle deals with basic human needs. Do you need somebody to paint your lawn or mow your house? I need someone to keep me from catching myself on fire. Maybe human's the wrong word. In your face! Malcolm in the Middle, tonight at 7.30. Oh, Miss Shuby. It's so hard to say goodbye. It's been about six months, and we ain't seen you once. I don't know where you're at. We wish you would come back, cause you still got the keys to my Cadillac. Uh, ha! This time I a phone call. Thank you. Hello! 
There, you happy now? You finally have your own show. No, I ain't happy. Did you see how they made my makeup look? Oh, my God. He's taking over.